Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill <laughs> with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. There's 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan Magazine's green screen Shia LaBeouf, Van Snuff scenes on Live League, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. Yeah, I, I honestly like... In this context, okay. it's tempting Still to make going. friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? Okay, so I actually came across that and that really connects to me because I had a YouTube video it's the last actually long form youtube video that i've done uh it was about one of the infinite craft streams and i think it was one of the ones that you just actually gone into uh tra la la um but yeah because it had you it showed you following in one of the clips but i condensed four hours of streaming into eight minutes and it took me four hours and that video is 12 views and meanwhile, I can just post something stupid like a, like a YouTube short. Like, I, I literally posted a YouTube short about a one-sub special, which is kind of funny, but at the same time, I just threw it up there, and that got, like, 50, 60, sorry, that was, like, 60 views. And despite the fact that I put, like, an immense amount of effort into one thing, it didn't really matter. And it's those quick things that people look for. And I, I feel like that that's why I like this game. is because most people, like, listen to it and are frustrated with what he says because they think they, they're just trying to mock him. And I just take his words for what they are. And it's, it's an actual genuine testimony. And here is motion whenever you complete the game. And it's... Whenever you listen to it, you can actually hear how much effort he put into this game. And it's just really good that it blew up in the way that it did. Because you can tell that he actually, despite the fact that this is a B game, it's he still put a lot of effort into it. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Case in point. Some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. To eight minutes. It's gotten 12 views. Meanwhile, I can put up a short that lasts 15 seconds and get like 60 views, like with, with right off the bat, with no effort involved. It takes me 15 seconds to upload, 15 seconds to record. And despite the fact that that's that's all it is, it will get more attention than that thing that I spent hours upon hours on. But yeah. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, it's just kind of hard to see whenever like your effort seems to go to waste. Whenever it's not really going to waste, it's just not caught up by everyone. So, like maybe that's something that I need to remember is the fact that if even if my efforts seem to be wasted, it's not that they're wasted. It's more of just they're not seen. And you want your effort, always want your efforts to be seen, even if uh, no one's there to. You, you want people to see what you've done and be like, give you congratulations, but that's not always going to be there. But on the off chance that you're playing this, what I'm saying is trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I okay, this dude is... I, maybe I'm just reciting what I remember from this game. Because, like, he has predicted what I've said three times in a row now. I don't understand. I guess you this. don't hate it if you got this far. Feeling frustrated. It's underrated. 
is the sole reason why I do this is because it's my efforts are being seen even if it's not by a lot it's being seen and knowing that my efforts are being seen is kind of what motivates me I want my efforts to be known that I don't just even if it's this is like the most mild hobby I just got into it but I'll spend hours upon hours every day doing it because it's something that I like doing then to have someone That's see not them how... is a great feeling. How I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. It's licorice. A lot of people like to mute them just because they find it infuriating, but it's sort of, it's also encouraging and people don't really take it for that because they feel like, oh, it's to mock you. Which it kind of is. It's to mock the people that want to be mocked and to make the people who want to be mad mad but the people who actually genuinely take this as like a challenge like like i am i didn't expect to beat this game and i have it's been only like a couple months but just to know that like the challenge it, it's it's not it, it his words are whatever you want them to be they want if you want to make them mad you mad they can make you mad. Now, I will say that the music is absolutely infuriating whenever that plays. That it's just not. <laughs> yeah, I would say that that's the one part where I feel like their goal is to make you mad. I think the end goal of this game, though, is to make you feel like you've accomplished something. That, like, you weren't handheld through the entire experience. You had to figure it out on your own. You you constantly wondered if there would be harder things, and there always was. And even at the end, you could, like, whenever I fell, I could have made a big deal out of it. Like I, oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. Like that, I know, like, made those words. I remember, like, a bunch of people being so upset whenever that he said that. But, like... Whenever I listened to it for the first time, it was like genuinely, I was genuinely happy each time he spoke because it, it was another word of encouragement. And I, I think that's just more of how I grew up. I grew up just like any praise that I worked, genuinely worked for meant a lot to me. And I, I, I wasn't really given a ton of praise unless I genuinely worked for it. I wasn't just told good job on this one assignment. I was told good job on the entire year. And I think that's missing from a lot of people or for a lot of people. And it'd be easy to say it's missing from Gen Z people or from the newer generations, but it's also missing from the older ones. People, it's, it either goes, it goes both ways. People either want to not give anyone any credit or you, you messed up or something like that. You, you want to be made happy, but sometimes it's not good to associate happiness with, of course, that's different depending on your level. Like you're, you're, if you're having like a very depressive time. And getting up and getting ready for the morning, that's impressive. It, 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 it's really a matter of understanding that you did a good job whenever it's, it, whenever you're considering how much work you put into it. I realized that whenever I'm making YouTube videos, it's, it's really funny. Like, I thought that was going to be like, going to be the funny highlights. However, like, the only thing that I've made on YouTube is that one edited video and a bunch of mental health sort of deals just because that's it's ironically like the best place for me to do it like I, I get to put my voice out there and like really look back upon what what I've sort of learned from I from a lot of it's from streaming and a lot of it's just from real life keeping a documented report of like 
everything that you found out is incredibly helpful. Maybe I'll try like Jump King because it's it's funny. It's the rage games that make me more calm nowadays. Is whenever I'm going through a rough time, it's nice to have one set goal in mind and to have a simple yet difficult goal of trying to climb this mountain and just constantly working for it that's that's why i like to see and that's why i like uh this game this game is just so calming to me i know that's not what a lot of people want to see whenever they're watching this game but I swear it's I might we have the same taste, oh. you and I. It's not ambition. It's ambition's opposite. An obdurate mission to taste defeat. You'll feel bad if you win, so I put this snake in for you. That's actually really accurate. I felt, like, really sad whenever I beat the game. I was, like, I felt accomplished, but I was, like, I just, I, I kind of wanted to continue to fight for a goal. Because whenever you finish fighting for a goal that you've, I don't think, that is a, that is a fair point. Uh, whenever you continue to fight for a goal and then you've completed that goal and you're, you're, le you're essentially left with nothing. And that's why I was kind of upset whenever I beat the game was just because I was like, I, I felt like everything was, everything, but... Yeah, I, I, I know that some people are looking for someone to rage at this game, but, you know, it's, a lot of things aren't worth raging about, but people do rage. Sometimes whenever def it definitely isn't you? Okay. All right, whoever's lurking, it, you, you can continue to lurk, but I'm keeping it on in the background. I appreciate you. I, I appreciate everyone who comes in, really. But I think a lot of times we rage over things that don't need to be raged over. Do you think? I, I, I've noticed that as I post stuff that people need sort of someone. There's, there's, there's always got to be that comfort person. And if I'm that comfort person for even just a couple of people, then it's, it's worth it. Like... I know a lot of people need it, so. And I I believe that it's like, it's the option for both. Like, if you want it, if you want to feel like it's supposed to make your rage, then you can let it do that. I feel like what he wrote wasn't talking to the person that's playing. Because he talks about the B games. He talks about how he couldn't make it easier, meaning he couldn't take shortcuts whenever he was creating the game. I don't know if you ever have turned on his voice at the end, but he gets really emotional. I think you'll hear it once I climb up this, if I climb, I should be able to climb up this. I know that like, it's not the, it's kind of difficult to uh, have a, time back at the bucket <laughs> let's just call it oh dang it like you there's it's, it's sort of a checkpoint here because you're already so cautious but he gets like really emotional what about who you are in this are you the man in the pot diogenes are you his hand are you the top of his hammer i think not where your hand moves the hammer may not follow nor the man nor the man's hand in this year is will, his intent, yeah. the embodied resolve in his uphill ascent. The B movie one, or I don't, or the the B content, really stuck with me. Is a lot of times our efforts aren't seen. I've discussed this with both of them, but like with with Kerbo and uh, Trollala, 
that a lot of times our efforts aren't our efforts aren't seen, and that's why that really stuck with me. I I made a four I had a four hour long stream that lasted, and then I edited it for four hours to make it eight minutes as the least views on my channel. I made a fifteen second short, and got it has the most views. Now, you've conquered the ice cliff, the platforms, the church, and the rectory, the living room and the factory, the playground, the construction site, the granite rocks, and the lakeside. You've learned to hike. There's no way left to go but up, and in a moment, I'll shut up. But let me say, I'm glad you came. Please. I dedicate this game to you. The one who came this far. I give it to you with all my love. This is the end of the game, if you can't tell. Like... Once again, 